Before there was a Doug Williams, there was a Joe Gillum. Before there was a Warren Moon, Joe Gillum was a quarterback in the National Football League. Before there was a $100 million contract for, uh, for Donovan McNabb, there was a Joe Gillum. And those guys would not have had the opportunity had there not been a Joe Gillum. My goal as an artist is to passionately inform, awaken, and educate the masses. But do it from a vantage point that's both distinct and lacking. Whether it's providing television commentary for the likes of CNN. Some situations you have to take a stand against things that are unjust. Covering events like the World Series. Appearing in critically acclaimed HBO documentaries. Kurt Flood, he sacrificed his whole career. He's the reason we had free agency. Exactly or even covering red carpet events at the Super Bowl. I seek to produce work that is both timely and unique. I'm currently doing a documentary on NFL pioneer Joe Gillum. Gillum was the first African-American quarterback to open a season as a starter for the Pittsburgh Steelers in 1974, when he beat out Terry Bradshaw for the starting quarterback job. Usually when the story of the Pittsburgh Steelers is told, Gillum's contributions are often ignored which serves as the primary impetus of why I must share his story with the masses. The first part of Joe's story might have wondered whatever became of him. Others might not have known the story at all. Joe playing the way he was playing and, and the things he brought to the table as far as a quarterback, there's no question I thought he could have won, won multiple Super Bowls. Could Joe have won Super Bowls? Yes, he could have. History demonstrates Terry Bradshaw led the Steelers to four Super Bowls, and that's true. But what's equally true was Joe Gillum was no ordinary Joe. He was an exceptional athlete and a very gifted quarterback, yet he has something taken away from him under dubious circumstances. We anticipated seven, eight, nine Pro Bowls, three, four Super Bowls, and a trip to Canton to the Hall of Fame. No one who saw Joe Gillum play ever doubted that he had abundant ability. He had that. He eventually ended up homeless, roaming the streets of Nashville, Tennessee. As we said in the piece, he didn't come from the streets, he wound up on the streets. So I was rooting for Joe, I stayed in contact with him for a while after the piece, but like with all addicts, it's dicey. You know, you just don't know how it's gonna turn out, and in Joe's case, it didn't turn out so well. I understand uh, exactly, you know, what happened to Joe, and, 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 and uh, I just think it was a shame what happened to him because he could have been one of the great quarterbacks to play this game if he would have been given the same opportunities as others. I'm at the halfway point with this documentary currently, but I'm going to need your help in going the distance. I'm going to need your help in supporting a worthwhile project about an individual who truly deserves to have his life shared with the masses. Let's get the word out. I humbly thank you for your time and God bless.